Hi guys, it's Dawn. How are you doing today? Hey, listen, we're finally going to get around to binding, just adding, actually not binding. We're sewing the signatures on today. Okay, guys, I'm just going to do this real quick. Just sew the signature on, signatures on, and then we will add our, um, our, um, binding or our covers on the next one. But I wanted to get this out to you. And then I promise I will have the, um, this part to you a lot faster than I got this one out to you. So this one, um, what you need to do is take your four signatures that you should have four signatures that have five pages each and get a, um, oh, maybe I left it in here. I, yeah, I did. Get yourself a template. And this is called your z j jig. Yeah, get yourself a jig and cut one, two, three, four, five holes in it and punch your holes in each signature. I made mine really kind of big and that's okay because these are going to be hidden signatures. This is called the kettle stitch. I'm going to put a link below where you can find somebody who's going to be doing it a lot better than I do and um, is showing it to you a lot more graceful than I am. This isn't the stitch, by the way, that I learned in my class, and it's been so long since I did my class that I can't remember how to do it. So I'm going to modify it, this, the one that's in the video below, and go ahead and use the waxed thread like we did in the class because this is for an art journal book and it's going to get wet, and I don't want to just use regular thread. So we are modifying it, and I'm putting five holes. I didn't even pay attention to how many holes she put in her video but um, we're going to use, um, you can use as many holes as you'd like, okay? But I'm using five holes, and I'm using this waxed book binding thread. And I also, when I want to bind a book, I just take this in my hands, and I open my arms as far as I can with the thread, and I do that twice. So you use two arm lengths worth of thread, and you, you won't run out. I mean, that's just something I learned, um, actually, in the class that I took on ground. And... Um, Every t since I've done anything, I mean, it hasn't done me wrong. So get yourself a large binding, a book binding needle, and uh, just put it through. And also in her class, she uses regular thread. We're not using regular thread. We're using this thread. And so let's just get started. And again, um, this, you know, I have only done it like once this way. So, um, but that's basically all you need is you just need to sew these together. You could even use a pamphlet stitch, you guys. It really doesn't matter, but I'm going to do it this way because I think it's kind of fun to learn a new binding trick. Pamphlet stitch would work just fine, by the way. So but let's just go here. We're going to find our center. We're going to go in the top and easier said than done. That's why I'm sending you to the other one too, because, um, yeah, it's she uses just one piece of paper, I think, and it's a lot easier to follow. So yeah, this has got this has got tape and all kinds of goodies. But I wanted to do this for you. I said I would, so I better get it done, right? All right, and I'll when you, after you punch your holes, put a T up here and a T somewhere in the book, so you always know where your top is, so that when you put these back together, because. When you put your jig down, you want to know where your top is because you don't want to do it upside down because they'll come out wonky. Um, you can go up, you can go in, you can go in the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to go in the top if I can ever get it in there. Uh, it's a hard, it's a lot harder with more than one piece of paper. I will tell you that. That's why I'm making my holes a little bit bigger than they probably should be. But well, that's okay. So we're going in the top, and um, oh, you can um. Put these together too to make it and make it grab a couple of um, paper clips that'll probably be a little bit easier for us too we'll use some of these today make it a little bit a little bit easier a little bit easier so let's put some of these on here so how's everybody doing that you're surprised to see this I thought I gotta get this done. I mean, it's been something. I mean, I have not not thought about it, you guys. I mean, I have thought about it since since the first video in this cute little tutorial. So know that I have been thinking about it. Okay, so in this is a really cool and easy, super easy um, uh, stitch. What I love this little kettle stitch. It's fun. So then in and out. Right. And now that, 
And then in. Super simple. Super dupa. Just finding the holes, that's the hard part. Sometimes I do this because it does make, does make it easier for me. Just take it apart and look, watch what you're doing, it's fine. That's fine. If you have a curved, a curved um, needle, I, she said, like a nozzle, she said if you have a curved one, it's easier to. I've never had a curved needle, and I've always been able to do just fine with one of these regular bookbinding needles. These are thicker than, obviously, than what she's working with on the other video. So, you know, we're going to have a harder time than she did. You know? So just bear that in mind when you're if you're having to futz around with it a little bit. That's okay. Just be patient. Watch me blow up after I say be patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It might help if you got some of your stuff out of the way Dawn. Okay, let's pull that on through. Keep it kind of tight as you go. You know, my last one, my practice one was a little loose. And it doesn't matter because it's going to get glued down, you guys. So, And don't worry about if it's perfect or not because, um, again, it's going to be, um, you know, a hidden signature. So don't worry too much. Okay, so pull that through, make it tight, and then let's go through the fifth hole. I'd really rather do, if you want to make it super simple, do a, do a, um, good look, I'm supposed to pull two holes here, it looks like, do a pamphlet stitch, you guys, just with three holes, come on, be easy on yourself, don't worry about it, but I wanted to try it with five holes, what did I do with this last one, I did four on this one, so, yeah, just for fun. Thought, well let's go with five because okay now this couldn't be simpler this first stitch could not be simpler so tight make it nice and tight okay and then you want to go back through okay where you came from i'm not sure if i'm supposed to loop around that or not but i don't think so but i'm going to anyway let's loop around this first one just give it a nice, just loop around it. Actually, I think you are supposed to. So give it a nice loop around. Pull it nice and tight. There we go. And then go back in. Try not to go through your thread again. And this is going to be your first one. Your first one's easier. And believe me, this is a fairly easy, easy stitch. So, and then go back out your hole without going through your uh, thread. I'm, I'm like I just did. <laughs> it fixed itself. But that's the hardest part. But that's why I made the holes kind of big. So, yeah. And then we're going to go around. We're going to go around this thread. It's a little loose, but I'm not worried about it. Make a little loop. Okay. Pull it kind of tight. There we go. Okay. And then when you get to the top, you need to, um, what was it, do we have to tie it here, or, wait, hold on, let me think. What did she say to do on the top? I think we tie this in a knot. I don't remember that part. Hmm. Oh, let me check, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Yes, I, I wanted to double check before I steered you guys in the wrong direction. So yes, so what you do is you go back through. Sorry about that, you guys. You go back through. So you have this little tail here, and that's okay. You go back through here like so, back up into the um, original hole that you made. Um, so let me put it around this way so that I can do a better job for us. And then, let's see. I have to look. I have to I have to peek. It's just so much easier for me to do that. I don't know about you guys, but it's easier to peek. So once you get back up into the hole, make sure your thread is free and clear and into the hole. Then what you do is you ah, just poke yourself in that um <laughs> poke yourself. Make sure it's taut, nice and taut, because this is the beginning of your thread. And then you want to loop your thread around this thread right here and make a knot on here. So, it's nice 
too straight. And you're going to want to put make a um, put your little needle in there, make a little knot. I hope you guys can see this pretty good. And if you can't, again, I'm gonna say go over to the video that I gave you down below. Um, and then once you have that knot there, you'll have a little knot there that you just created. You want to put your needle back in the hole around that knot, and you're going to want to pull that knot through the hole. So you'll see that knot come back through. Oh, more than that. Oh, what happened here? What did I do? I didn't tie it tight enough, Abby. Well, let's just go ahead and change that and tie it a little tighter. Well, that didn't work. So. How did that happen? I didn't tie a very good knot. I have to go back through the hole. Back through the hole. I'm sure one of you are watching this that know what you're doing. Going, well, I know what you did. You didn't do whatever. <laughs> so it's kind of strange. I'm going back in here. Okay. Is this where I tied the knot? Yeah, this is where I tied the knot. I thought I did that, but I just must not have did a very good knot. All right. Okay, knot here. I thought I did this right. I might have a lot of string that's confusing things, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Well, there's a knot. There's a knot. I'm not understanding why once I pop that back out there, so I am doing something wrong, and I think I'm going to have the same bad result. So, let's get that out of the way. I wonder if I'm going to pull that out again, if that happens again. Hmm. Let's see. Try not to go through the... Through the uh, I feel like I am. I promise this is probably going to be a lot easier for the for you than I than than moi, fellas or dolls. Because yeah, there we go. Okay, it's a good thing I have big holes. Now, what if this pops through again? I'm going to be mad. Now, what I have to do is I just got to pop that little knot that I made back through, right? So there's the, that end. And there it is. Okay, good. Now we're back on track. Okay, good. So there we go. So now we're ready to add our next signature. I don't know what I did the first time, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Okay, so that's the first signature. And uh, I've got some tea over here. I'm probably... It's a good thing this is all using mostly water paper and stuff. So we've got our second signature here, and I'm going to go ahead and open it up and put a little... Um, thing in a jiggy, right? Lay up, keep it open. And now what you do is basically you lay it down on top and you go through the top. This is where it gets kind of fun, in my opinion. I'm going to cut this off right here. But this is where it gets kind of fun, you guys. Because, um... And as I say that, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, sure, Don, fun. Because first off, you have to get through the holes. <laughs> and in my world, that might not be so fun. Let me make my holes big again. I know, right? Could they get any, possibly get any bigger, Don? Well, I'm a baby binder, so, and I'm doing this online. So, and it doesn't matter. I'm not selling this thing. I'm going to make a mess in it, so what I'm going to do. And, yeah, okay. So here's the top, top. Okay, so now we basically want to go through our next one. Oop. See how easy it is when you have great, big, gnarly, awful holes? Like, <laughs> so if you're new to it, do that. Who cares? Practice, just practice. And I think what I'm going to do is maybe put another binder on here. Just to keep these two together. Okay. And good, and good. And then you want to go through this. And this is where it gets fun, you guys. And it does, it does. All my paint is falling. Okay. 
I'm just going to be happy to have this video done for you because I feel like such a loser of not getting it done for you. Okay, so basically what you're going to do now is you're going to go around the, the stitch that you put in the other one and you're going to just go up and over or under, right, under that stitch. And then you're going to, so you're going under that stitch. So you're tying it around the stitches of the first signature. And then you're going to go under that stitch. Don't go in the thread. Pull it through nice and taut. And then you're going to pull it. And then you're going to go back in the hole that you just came out of. Okay. Make, make it easy on yourself. Make your holes big. <laughs> just to start, you guys, just while you're while you're a beginner like me, you know, don't, don't stress out and say, oh, I don't want to see the holes. You have to leave it. Now it's easy peasy. Go through the hole, your third hole, and out. And this is where it's, it's so simple. It's just so simple, this little kettle stitch, you guys. I love it. So now we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go around... We're going to go underneath the thread that we, the stitch that we put in the first signature, and then we're going to go under this one right here without going into it, right? So you're just going around that stitch in that signature, and then you're going to go back through the hole. And I hope this is, sounds, I hope this feels comfortable for you guys. Okay? And again, you don't have to do this, go ahead and do a pamphlet stitch. Just don't just stop there because we're gonna move on. I promise we're gonna move on sooner than we did to get to these. I promise, I promise. Okay? And so make sure that's nice and secure. Then we're gonna go back out the fourth hole. Look at I just did I put a hole in there. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. And then we're gonna go out the fourth hole and then do the same thing. And I would go ahead and use this wax thread, you guys, if you're doing, if you made an art journal like I did, and not just a journal for writing, because uh, this is going to take a lot of abuse. And this wax thread is really strong. And if you want to get some, there's some in my Amazon, my Amazon link down below. As a matter of fact, I think there's a little book binding kit down there. I'm not sure. I should look. Because we've got, what happened just now? Um, hold on, I want to make sure I did that right. No, that's kind of, yeah, there we go. Because we're just going underneath of it, right? Underneath of it, and then we're going to go underneath. So you're going underneath, underneath, and then back up, and then back through the hole on each one. That's all you're doing. So we're going to grab that, right? And then we're going to go back through our hole without going through the thread again. And my holes are huge. So big. Can I just tell you how glad I'll be when this book binding is, this thing is bound and we get to play in it. Oh, I'm going to be so happy. It's going to be a lot of fun. Ah, fun, fun, fun. All right. I'm going to go back out to this hole. Let's see, we've already got two seconds stitches. We've got two, two to go. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing on this one. We're going to go, but we have to go underneath this side right here. And then we're going to go in, right, guys? So we're tying that nice and tight, like so. And then we're going to go, I think what I want to do, I'm going to go, don't do this yourself, but I'm going to try something. You stay here. But I'm going to go, I want to go in here, and I want to go underneath this. Because otherwise, I don't feel like it's going to be strong enough. Let me just try this and see what happens. Don't do this. Just stay right where you are. Oh, yeah. That's better. And then back out. Don't do, don't do what I do. Just stay where you were because I'm a rebel. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but I just feel like it might make it secure. So now we're going to go back in the next one. Right. 
but let's tie our book down here. Just, just tie this down with a zipper on. There we go. Like so. Actually, and then we're going to get our next one in here. Top to top. Cheek to cheek. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on here real quick. There we go. Now we're going to go in the top, or actually it's the bottom, isn't it? So we're going to go in, that's the center, okay, in, your desk clear you guys don't do like I do I have a big mess going on and I'm a mess you guys I'm not going to speed this up or anything because I mean even though I'm not the best teacher in the world but maybe maybe I am maybe maybe the way I do it is something you guys can relate to you know I don't know so then we're going to go out now here's where we do it again we're going to just go around the signature from the last um, so we're going to go under and through this thread from the last signature. I think I'll hold it up for you a little bit. Okay, because this is easy. So basically, here's the signature from the last one. So you're just going to go um, around the signature. So instead of around it, you're going to actually just go under the thread. So, so here's the thread. I'm going to go in. I guess I have to hold it out. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? I have to get this. See, I think that's where a curved needle would come in handy. Okay. <laughs> Let's grab this. See. There we go. So see, we're just going around it like so and tying ourselves to it, right? And then back in. I guess maybe by watching me... Um, and a little, you know, going through the motions. Maybe you're saying, oh, okay, I, I get it. This is the hard part for me. That's why I'm leaving it open a little bit. So I can, see, I'll even do this. I'll even cheat. I'm going to go back in there like that. See? There we go. It's not cheating. It's just not getting it through the hole all at the same time, if you know what I mean. There we go. Nice, pull it nice and tight. And then we're going to go through the hole back out. I actually like this way better than I learned at the, gra the gr brick and mortar class that I took. It was a lot harder than this. So, yeah. Um, so, now we're just going to go under that last stitch again. And too bad if I don't have a curved a curved uh, needle. This is where a curved needle would be great. Not gonna lie, but we can go sneak it out this way. So see, push it through. Grab that little sucker. Come on, you. I don't feel like she had to do this, but she wasn't dealing with. Oh, that went through with the, a little bit more than I wanted it to. So I'm gonna push this back up under here. I don't want it to go. There, I want it to go right there. Just around that last stitch. And see the stitch that we're making right here is the one it's gonna, the last one's gonna go around. Okay, so once you get around that stitch, then go back in. And I'm hoping this is tighter than my, this feels tighter than the one I bound before for my, at that class. Um, the one I bound before, I think I'm going to rebind it and I'm going to use this stitch. I'm not going to lie. I like this stitch. I think it's great. Look at that. You guys, I think it's perfect. Look at that. Yay, when that happens, it's like, I'm the lottery. I should get that lottery. I wish. It's so funny. I was talking to my kid and I'm like, gosh, I'd really like to win a go make a million dollars or win a million dollars. And she goes, like, does me everybody. <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah, but I think about it a lot. She goes, that doesn't everybody. It's so cute. 
Oh my gosh, aren't we, aren't we funny, you guys? People are so funny. Did I put top with top? Yes, I bet, I think I did. If I didn't, oh well, it's looking pretty good, so yeah. Looking pretty good. Okay, let's see, and I haven't even begun to run out of, um, what's my thread doing? Oh, it's getting hooked on my, yeah. I haven't begun to run out of thread, so doing that two arm length thread thing is a good idea. And you have to fight with it like I'm obviously doing right now. But there we go. Out again. Oh, I'm getting cocky and I just lost my needle. See what happens when you get cocky? Yeah. These needles have great big holes, eyes, I guess you'd call them. Very big eyes. So that makes it really easy to work with. Okay. So out, and then we're going to go up and around the last signature, which is not here. Obviously, it's this one. I guess I could just get that out of the way. There we go. There we go. Up and under and around. And then back through the hole. Okay. And back through the hole. Perfect. And then back out. And I like wax thread because you can pull it and um, it, feel, it feels really secure. Okay. So, I mean, it seems like it, once, it, once you get it snug, it stays snug. Okay, so this one, you have to go around this knot here, which is easier because it's basically the last one. And then you want to go in the next one, okay? So we got that. So let's go ahead and put these, fix these. Loving it. Okay. okay. Get that nice and taut. Okay, and then we're gonna fix this to be like so. And top, 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 okay. And we gotta go back through. And you know you're not missing anything because it's like a, there's no whole, there's no, there's four stitches. I think that makes sense what I just said, I hope. So you go in the top. And then, it seems to me like I'm missing a step on this one. Let me see how that looks. Mm-hmm. I guess it's okay. Like it needs a knot, and then, well, we're gonna just roll with it, guys. Back out this way. Back out that way. To pull it nice and tight. Yeah, that's fine. And then this one goes around the last stitch that we made. And it's gonna be a nice stitch. Okay, so then this one goes under this. Okay. Okay, and then you go back in. Go back in the hole. Oopsie, you missed it. There it is. Pull it tight. This doesn't feel as tight as it should to me. I might have missed a step. I hope not. But again, please check out that other vid for very good, very good 
instruction and then come back <laughs> and come back and do the next step with me. Okay, so we're going to go up and around this. And then back through the hole, make sure you pull it nice and tight. Yeah, that's pretty secure. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna, there. Okay, I'm gonna go back out. Back around. This one. Boy, I might invest in a. Um, well, I probably won't. I was going to say, if I was doing this a lot, I might invest in a curved book binding uh, needle, but I won't because I haven't been doing this a lot. I just poked myself. That was lovely. Okay, I'm going to go back in the hole. In the hole, nice and tight. Okay, back out the hole. Right there. And then around. back in and I believe we tie around this again and make a knot and then come back out and pull the knot out again like we did the first on the first one I think that was the, that's the idea if not you will see but for me and all the glue that we're going to use to put this down this baby down I'm going to be just fine with it and if I can get you back into this hole I would be a lot happier hang on there's that needle. There she is. Okay. Yes. Now I'm going to go around here and make a knot around here. There. Nice and tight. I think that's what she did. I don't know. That's what I'm doing, guys. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. It's just fine. Yeah. It's just fine. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go around this way. I'm going to make a knot. Should I go through? No. Make a knot. And then pull it down, and then I want to pull that knot back out and cut it off. I think that's what we do. I don't want to go through the... My daughter's working today. I'm so happy for her. I got that. Okay. Oh, it popped out. I hear it. I heard it. Okay. So there we go. And then I'm just going to do it one more time because <laughs> I'm scared because this is the end. And it's easy to knot. We'll just do another knot. It doesn't matter. Let's just do another knot and call it done. So go ahead and... Well, that was silly. I can do that again because now i got to go through that. So go ahead and bind your art pages. And we will be back to put them together in our... Um, there we go. There we go. There's, another, there's a good knot. Perfect. Okay, so there it is. So I'm going to cut this and just leave that. It doesn't matter. It can get, it can get glued in. Um, yeah. So there it is. And you can go through and take the tees off that you made. I think I'll just leave them. It doesn't matter. And so there we are. It's ready for um, binding. So now in our next video, what you have to have ready is some... Um, Mod Podge or some, actually I'm going to use Aliens Glue, probably. I'm going to use a lot of Aliens Glue or Yes Paste. Whatever you have, you guys, don't stress it. So get some Aliens Glue or some Mod Podge because what we're going to do, we're going to put this together with this. And we are going to do hide this, this signature in here. You're going to need a little piece of um, cardboard. Your cardboard 
should be about the width of your binding. Okay, so put this like on a piece of paper. Like I'm gonna, I'll make mine here with you right now and show you. So we're just gonna go like so, like so, and we're gonna go like that, and then I think, I think we'll just go like this, and we'll cut that. And I'll, I'll make it a little bit bigger. It doesn't matter, you guys. But that's what we're gonna glue this too but we're going to glue this to this first so get yourself a little piece of cardboard and um come back to the next tutorial which is going to be i think part four or five and we will do this and i think i'm going to do this like really very soon okay guys so um the uh original video to do this is down below and what i did was i just did a practice one here so with um, just three holes, you see my first one came out really loose. So it doesn't really matter, but this one turned out really pretty good. I think I learned some lessons on it. It's not loose at all. Um, really nice, actually. So um, there you go. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, check out the link below, and I will talk to you real soon. Thanks, guys, for your patience. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.